For this video, I'm going to be at Memorial Park Cemetery in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I started off by showing that rock formation up here by the lake water because that's an easy marker and up near a mausoleum to find the gravesite that I'll be looking at today. And that is of Leon Russell. Leon was born with the name Claude Russell Bridges. He was a musician and a songwriter. He's probably best known as a rock and roll musician songwriter, but he also did uh, some of this for country music, gospel music, as well as blues music. Just by looking at uh, Leon's uh, marker, you can tell what he, he was best known for, and that is uh, being a piano player. And it's really hard with the sun to not get reflections. I'll try to get at a different angle so that uh, maybe you can get a try it again to see if you can get a better view of if I come in at the side of the marker without so much reflection. Leon was born in Lawton, Oklahoma and some of his music was also referred to as what they just call the Tulsa sound uh, as him being from Oklahoma. And it's just hard to get a good angle that's not got so much reflection. I was wanting to get a real good close-up, but I think you're going to get too much of the sun, but there he is sitting in a chair, and you get to see a little bit of the writing there. And some of the music they played uh, for yourself or even for uh, other performers, you might would see the name uh, Russell Bridges or Lou Russell as he went by several other names. And here's somebody's left, uh, like the trademark hat that uh, Leon would wear. Leon earned several gold records and he also received uh, two Grammy Awards uh, for his music and in 1973 Billboard named him the top concert attraction in the world and that seems like a mighty big uh, award to me. Leon has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Songwriters uh, Hall of Fame, the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, and the Oklahoma Blues Hall of Fame. Just to uh, name a few awards that he's received and honors he's done. And uh, he uh, also uh, uh, did some performing with Glenn Campbell and he even done some touring with Willie Nelson. So he had a con country connection too, for sure. And he actually passed away in Nashville, Tennessee. I'd like to say thanks so much for watching my video. Hope you have a good day and uh, take a look at the rock again so you can find this marker.